With so many long-awaited games coming out this month, I want to highlight a few smaller titles that I hope won't get lost in the shuffle. Hey guys, it's Cody with Indie Game Pulse. Death's Door playing in the background is obviously not a hidden gem, but we are giving away a copy on the console of your choice. To enter, just subscribe to the channel and like and comment on this video. We'll be drawing a winner on July 20th when Death's Door launches on PC and Xbox so you can play it on day one. Details are in the description below, now let's get into our hidden gems. Out of Line is a 2D puzzle platformer along the lines of Inside or Limbo, but clearly with a much more vibrant color palette. In Out of Line, you'll use memories to unlock doors, new pathways, and so on. The game has already gotten positive reviews on Steam, many of them noting the gorgeous colors and painted aesthetic, but also the story, which is left up to the player's interpretation. Out of Line is out now on PC and Nintendo Switch, except for North American countries, where it will launch on August 18th. PS4 and Xbox ports will be released later this year. Up next, and coming out on July 30th, is Busta Fellows, a visual novel where murder mystery meets romance. It's like if Sherlock Holmes and Nicholas Sparks had a baby. These types of games are not my typical fare, but I try to share a variety of different games. So, if anime visual novels are your thing, keep an eye out for Busta Fellows coming to PC and Nintendo Switch. World for Two visually reminds me a lot of Evan's Remains, although the gameplay here is very different. In this, you'll take on the roles of a biologist and his android counterpart as they seek to not only document the few remaining animal races, but genetically modify new creatures in an effort to stop a mass extinction. A calming piano and violin soundtrack also backs the game, and I replayed the trailer a couple times just to listen to that. You can pick up World for Two on PC via Steam starting July 16th. In a similar vein to our last game, Mythic Ocean has you searching for and documenting creatures, but this time you're underwater, in first person, and with a much heavier emphasis on exploration. Some of you might recognize Mythic Ocean as it's already available on PC, but it has just been released this month for Nintendo Switch. With branching narrative paths and tons of crazy creatures to discover, Mythic Ocean seems quite the charming game and perhaps one to wind down with at the end of a hard day's work. You can play it now on PC and Nintendo Switch. And now for something completely different, a purely puzzle game from Phantom Compass, the folks behind the pinball game Rollers of the Realm. Triversal offers thousands of puzzles to stretch your brain, probably even tying it in knots at times. You'll use tethers to attach your glowing orb to objects in an attempt to line it up with the black hole and complete each puzzle. It offers new challenge puzzles and leaderboards every day so you can see how you stack up against others from around the world. You can play Triversal now on PC via Steam. Up next, and a game which I've already played and reviewed, is Lost at Sea, an emotional walking journey around a desolate island filled with haunting memories. You play as Anna, a grieving wife and mother who's having trouble coping with her past, present, and future. Life, in general, just seems pretty bleak. As you discover mirages of memories, you'll use your compass to guide you to each item and then return the item to the mirage for a complete memory where you'll capture a bit of Anna's life in words and an animated snapshot. I really enjoyed the story, but found the walking bits to be, well, slow. 
If you want to know more, I'll link to my review in the end screen. Lost at Sea is available now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. If you're enjoying the video and want to see more reviews and countdowns in the future, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I don't know if you've heard, but it helps us out too. <laughs> Back to the games. Most of us love a good 2D action platformer, and Fallen Knight is our next hidden gem that fits right into that category. With a sleek 2.5D feel to the character and world that you'll be fighting through, Fallen Knight immediately caught my eye when I first saw the trailer late last year. And if you can hear the headbanging music in background, that also caught my attention. Fallen Knight takes place in a futuristic world that tries to mash up Arthurian legend with Souls-like difficulty, utilizing sword-based combat as you plow through enemies and bosses. There are multiple endings to unlock too, based on how you play the game. Fallen Knight releases on July 20th for PC and all consoles. Perhaps the most stylish title on our list this month is Vesper, being developed by Cordons Interactive and published by Deck13, who have brought us excellent games in the past like CrossCode and Resolution. Vesper is an atmospheric platformer inspired by the great games of the 90s, in which you play as an android alone in deep space. I think the art style looks like a combination of dark games like Inside with the ethereal feel of the Ori series, and I'm really digging it. Using a device called the Drive Gun, you can absorb light and create dark hiding spaces for a bit of puzzle platforming, or control your enemies by tapping into their minds, like we've seen recently in games like Carrion or any Star Wars game ever. Vesper launches onto PC via Steam and GOG on July 30th. And our last hidden gem is another one that I find very intriguing visually, and it's Guild of Dark Steel. Described as a story-driven adventure game, you play as a cell sword exploring the dark underground world below Raven Rock. The bleakly toned pixel art first caught my attention in the trailer, with a color palette and animation style that remind me of the recent Olia. Coupled with the focus on creating a cinematic narrative, I really hope this one lives up to my expectations for a short but memorable adventure. Guild of Dark Steel is available now on PC and Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to leave a comment below for your chance to win a copy of Death's Door on July 20th. Thank you very much to my 1,180 subscribers for your support. If you like what you see here at Indie Game Pulse, consider helping us grow by supporting us on Patreon. For more top indie game countdowns and reviews, check out the videos on your screen now, and I'll see you on the other side.